Hey there, Trisha with Upcycled Stuff. Uh, today we're going to do a, a tutorial on using some of those soda cans to assemble a multi-layered flower um, for embellishing uh, gifts. You can use them for the covers of scrapbooks, cards, uh, wherever your imagination takes you. You can even stick a pin on the back of it and make a brooch. So the first thing that you're going to need is your, um, your floral pieces that are cut from a soda can. And to do that, I typically will use my Big Shot Sizex with, here's one of the patterns that I can use. It's the Jim Holtz and it's the Tattered Floral. Uh, and I'll show you what that looks like on a soda can in just a sec. If you don't have this machine, it's very easy to do yourself. I've actually done a tutorial making butterflies uh, with soda cans and um, a pattern that you make yourself. So you can simply make pieces out of old uh, pieces of cardboard, food packaging, that sort of thing, uh, to make your multi-layered flower, and then you can hand cut it. And I'll make sure and leave the, the link down below for that other tutorial so that you can um, see how I did that. So here are the pieces from my Jim Holtz Tattered Floral. So there's four pieces there. And I'm going to hold all these together very simply with an eyelet, also called a grommet. So if you go to your scrapbooking section, you'll find lots of different um, eyelets. So these ones here have a little floral shape to them. I have some that are dragonflies. Most of them you'll find, however, are just your basic round eyelet. Okay, and of course you'll need something to set that with. So here's this fancy schmancy machine manually operated, of course, um, found in the same section of your craft store that you'll find your eyelets. This is your eyelet center. It comes with a, um, a board to do your punching on because it's pretty uh, abrasive uh, on your furniture, so you don't want to use it on your furniture. And in it, you'll have your handle that comes with several different attachments. These ones here that have the round circles are what you use to cut the holes in your um, soda can pieces. So, um, You'll want to find the appropriate size based on the size of your eyelets. Typically, I use this middle one. I'm relatively certain. We'll find out. Um, and then these pieces over here. Let me see if I can get them out. These ones here are what you use to um, set them in place. Okay, so this cuts the hole in your aluminum and this is what sets your eyelets. So um, for this one, I believe I used the middle one. So I'm gonna just pull these over here and get them out of the way and keep just what I need. All right, so here's what we're gonna do. You can either start with the top piece or the bottom piece. It doesn't really matter. I like to start with the smallest one um, because you're gonna use this as a basis to put the holes in all the other pieces and this way you keep things centered. So with your the right size piece um, to punch your holes in there. You're going to line this up and there's a way to do it using the lines and all that good stuff on this little pad, but I usually eyeball it. As close as you can to the center. And this is going to make a loud popping sound. It usually takes um, two or three punches to get it all the way through. So you're simply going to push the handle. I'll make sure I'm still lined up here. And I'll show you, you can see it's started to cut, but it hasn't cut all the way. So you're gonna line that right back up on top of where it was and do it one more time. And I'm gonna need one more. There you go. And then your little pieces get stuck up in here, which you'll wanna keep uh, that cleaned. I normally have to stick a, um, like a safety pin in there to get it all out, because it gets stuck. Okay, so once you have your hole centered here, take the next piece that you're going to use and you're going to center this the way you want it to show up here. And you'll use that hole as a guide to make a hole in your second piece. So, I believe it took three. Okay, and there's our hole. Move the small one to the side and take your next piece and do the same thing. Line it up how you want it and then make your hole. I feel like I moved that a bit. Okay, well, it looks like we need one more. 
Ooh-wee, or maybe another. That one's being stubborn. It may be time to clean my gun out here. There you go. Okay, and now you have one more. Last one. Get it lined up the way you want it. Make sure it's looking kind of centered. And make your hole. There, three. Okay, now that your holes are all made, you can take your little puncher out and put your grommet setter in. And this is magnetic, by the way. It just uh, holds it in place really easy. Find a grommet that you like. And since this is, um, what was this? This was um, sweet tea, southern sweet tea from Arizona iced tea. It has this really pretty black and white picture on it. So I'm going to stay with that theme, even though there's some red in it. I think I'm just going to use this. Mm, I think I'll do black. All right, so now this is where you're going to assemble all of your holes, line them all up. So you got them all lined up. You're going to take your little eyelet and you're going to place it on your mat so that it's um, face down and you're going to take your flower and sometimes it's easier to put um, each layer on top one at a time, but we'll see if we can get it all on there now. Okay, so now the eyelet is in place. You're gonna take your setter and you're gonna put it right on top of that. Make sure it's on there nice and stable and you're gonna push this about three times um, and then what it's gonna do is split the eyelet up um, into little slices that are gonna fold down on top of your flower. So here we go. That looks like that was it. So there you see it sort of split it up. Okay, and now you have this really cute flower. Well, as you can see, it's still keeping the shape of the can. So you can take something that's round. Of course, I didn't bring anything over here to the table with me, so let's see what we can do here. Just use the handle here. But you can use um, like a pen or something of that nature. And you can basically curl this like you would curling ribbon. This may not work. Let's see. Yep, so you can see it's starting to curl upwards. It takes a bit of time, but you can do that with every single petal. And you'll get this really pretty, um, more realistic looking, at least, flower that doesn't bend in the shape of a soda can. So there's the first layer. You see it's got some nice bends in it. And then you can go through and do the rest of your layers. And then you have a really pretty flower that you can use for embellishing um, with the holidays coming, that's my first thought, is um, embellishing your gifts and not having to buy bows and that sort of thing. All right, so um, look below for the post that will show you um, how to cut, if you don't have a um, Big Shot Sizex, how to get your pattern onto a soda can and get it cut out. Have fun!